painting on the mount card and I'm sure those of you that make frames your own frames you uh, you can save your offcuts and paint over them now I'm using acrylic for this one so acrylic you don't need to prime the surface first I have just as an example because the oil painters would like to uh, know some information on this but I think if you're going to paint a mount card with oil I would recommend giving it a couple of coats of gesso mix a bit of colour in with the white gesso um, and away you go but with uh, acrylic painting with the acrylic paint is the primer but um, but if you start if you paint on the board without it being primed which you can do you'll find that it will suck the, the, the moisture out of the uh, acrylic and you would use more acrylic so I just had one, one coat, a thick coat of PVA, not PVA, well it's all PVA um, some white gesso uh, with I put four lumps of uh, black and then I just mixed it all up and put it in and so you've got a bit of white in there and when I start to, to do the gesso it looks like a Howard Hodgkin abstract painting and I'm thinking oh I could do that and then people look at it there were no trees no sky just a sort of square with uh, what is it what is he trying to say uh, but I've, I've not done that yet so uh, I had no plans to do so but I do have uh, abstract painting in my what back on my back burner thinking about it so anyway I'm going to do a, try and do a sunset on this one a corner sunset with a with bit of land rocks both sides um, I'll, I'll, I'll use uh, a flat brush for those rocks if I can find one I would want a nylon flat well this one we'll use that this one graduate lovely brushes I bought some of these at the range when they had a decent art section they buy them on on eBay Amazon as you probably know I've been banned again from or well, had my account suspended on YouTube for no reason that I know of uh, so I'm not happy about that bit of a bit of a nuisance so we've uh, cancelled our account and can go back in with a new account after 60 days so that will probably save me some money and that will be to eBay's detriment right okay so colours I've got uh, some red for a million I think not sure uh, ultramarine bit of burnt umber bit of Payne's grey cadmium yellow pale uh, raw sienna and this orange so we're going to we're going to a blue sky in to start with I'll use a bit of water for this plenty of that and we'll, we'll come darker as we get down to the uh, to where the sun is, is going to the sun will be below the horizon and we'll, have, we'll try blending this so it'll be a bit quick Okay, now we'll clean the brush and we'll start off with some uh, with the, the darker red will be on the top a 
down and get lighter as it comes down to the bottom. I'm going over wet wet paint there, but it's picking up what's underneath. Let's get some yellow in there. I'll go back over that. Down the sand here, let's get a bit of white in there. Reminds me of being on St Petersburg or St Pete's Beach. Oh, I'll just let that go a bit, bit uh, more because I want to put in a, 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 a mauve cloud with a bit of light around it to show that the sun is high or low here, but the cloud is high. And it will uh, backlight the cloud. Well, right, this uh, I'll go back over that a bit there, but let's get this mauve cloud. Now you can see what I'm doing. I don't think I'll pull that off. But. Well, that hasn't quite worked, has it? I'll uh, put the uh, start putting in the rocks. I would have uh, burnt sienna, raw sienna, that's a bit of paint grey. A bit of orange, look at that paint's grey. side uh, 
Uh, right, so I'm going to change that a little bit. Let's just clean the brush. So we can see, keep your brushes uh, wet. It's okay with oil painting because it'll stay wet for hours, but but acrylic won't. Acrylic will. Oh. Get rid of that. Just a touch of uh, the sky colour and, and the waves coming in. Well, I'm not happy with that. So the great thing about acrylic is you can paint it out. I need to keep the colour plenty of of um, the sky colour in this. Touching yellow. This is going a bit too clinical at the moment. I'll probably have to edit this video, it'll be a bit uh, too long. It splits at about uh, 28, 30 minutes. But anyway, this, uh, we haven't finished with that it's sky yet. Now that should be a bit more red, shouldn't it? Oh, that's a... I'm guessing this, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, let's, let's get a bit of modelling on those cliffs. Let's get that 
It's a bit of a... Let's just come away from that for a minute. Uh, let's just get that bit out there. I've just noticed on the screen that the horizon is uh, dipping. brush. Uh, right, change the brush now. Um, I will give it a good clean through the towel. Sweet of tea. And I'll use this long flat here. We want uh, burr sienna, burr raw sienna, a bit of white. Soften. So the lesson here is don't throw your offcuts away because they will do some lovely things. It's a great surface to paint on. Uh, we want a bit of, bit of a shadow in there. Just mix a bit of Payne's Grey with uh, some burnt sienna. Give us a bit of a definition. Reflection in the water.
Right now, put that dark red. I would be a dark blue, dark and blue in that. Uh let's get some uh, definition in there. I don't think I've used any of that, the gel. Okay. It's a beautiful day in London again, and it's, a, it's lovely winter weather, but we're getting, a, it's about eight degrees at the moment, going up to about 12. We had a, a cold, really freezing cold. So I saw my friend Nettie up in uh, Pennsylvania, almost on the, one of the Great Lakes. Well, I think last week it went down to 22, minus 22 centigrade. No. Okay, we, we want a bit of a bigger work. Uh, just to show a little bit of uh, seaweed. Just stuff. Uh, let's get a little bit of a uh, right, a little bit of mauve, I think. Just a little bit of shadow. Put a fisherman in without ruining it. Uh, where's my little? My little brush. There it is. So we'll put him in into sort of a dark blue red. Have him up here. Let's clean that little brush. I said, had that years. I'll use uh, this uh, Frank Clark rigger.
Okay. Oops. He's just trying to catch some mackerel or something. Oh, you can come inside. I'll sign it. I think it's about worth it. Let's do it in uh, white. I'll find a mount for it. Scrupulously clean the brush. Get every bit of paint, acrylic paint out from from the, uh, the ferrule because that's where the paint gathers the, and it will eventually spit all the hairs. Not literally, but it will be hard to get them to a point. Uh, right, okay, uh, let's take those off. Oops. Let's have one here. Uh -huh. Let's have one like. Okay, well we'll let that go. That looks pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching folks. I hope that's done in one go. Because well, otherwise I'm going to have to edit it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.